What is happening, everybody? We are back with another reaction video. And we'll be reacting to Honest Trailers Halloween 2018. I had a feeling they were going to do this because they, they done the, um, what, the 1978 one. So I knew they were going to do this one. And at first I wasn't going to react to it, but I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and just react to it. Because I, I haven't watched it yet. I think it's been out for like three days or something like that. And I was like, eh, might as well react to it. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get into it. Alright, here we go. Can you do the answers? I Today's episode is brought to you by Resident Evil 2. Experience the thrills of the Watch survival my horror classic of the, of the, from the ground up. After nine sequels and reboots that range from meh to please kill meh. God, scoop! Skedaddle! Get the f*** out of Dodge! Only one creative team can restore hey, the Halloween franchise right. to its former glory. Two is good. Kenny Powers and the director of your highness. <laughs> Halloween 2018. Not Get seen ready that for a snazzed up reboot of the original. Or rather, a reboot of the original sequel. Or maybe a new take on H2O? I, I don't know, man. But this time, there's even more carnage. More jump scares. Yeah, that was and even more of those stupid fake out jump scares that end up being something else. Gotcha. Sorry. They did do that quite a bit. Gotcha! <gasps> Jesus. Can we just stop with that? Yeah. It's like if comedy's tickled you to get a laugh. It's cheating. Come on, do you want to see my new chainsaw and huggy mask? <laughs> Return to the world of Halloween, <laughs> where oh, the boy. doctors are still shady. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that didn't, to me, are still made useless. No sense. What did we gonna do? Castle Halloween? And Haddonfield hasn't changed at all, except for recent well, boot Asian properties. A bon mi sandwich. Bon mi is essentially just the Vietnamese version of a French baguette. Thrill as we reunite with Laurie Strode once they literally bribe her to she be was in the movie. How does three thousand dollars sound? She's still <laughs> haunted by that night forty Pretty years much. ago, so she became Sarah Connor, a hardcore survivalist, convinced a final drawing. showdown is coming with an estranged child she trained to fight. But while some families bond over brunch and spa days, Lori will bring her clan together the old-fashioned way by turning the tables on their relentless stalker in a finale that will leave you wondering. Okay, she had 40 years to design a trap house, and this is the best she could do? A shotgun and a room full of mannequins? And, wait a second, oh no, why are they anatomically correct? Guess it really is the team that made your highness. <laughs> Audiences won't need Activia to crap their pants because Michael Myers is back. You can run, you can hide, but actually you could. That, He's that not much ass, of a mover. Yeah, now say goodbye to the slasher you thought you knew because Michael is 40 years older and he's matured into more of a shover. Man, that shit like it hurt. Hey, I get it, man. You hit your 60s and you gotta conserve that energy. But get ready to meet the real monsters in town. True crime podcasters. Right, he just shoved these twins open the film skulls. by recording what would have been a terrible series, complete with tons of background noise. Having witnessed the animal in its captive state, this monster. Not calling ahead to secure their biggest interview. We're Making a podcast. Pointing yeah, their mics to the subjects back from 20 yards away in the wind. Hello, Michael. And recording their podcast on the 40 year anniversary of the murders instead of releasing it then. Come on, hello? Anybody ever heard of SEO? Ugh, just awful. The true crime podcast about the murder of the true crime podcasters, though? Now that's a season of serial. So suit up for a progressive horror film about women fighting back against the men who've traumatized them with the undercurrent that people with mental illness are scary and violent and should be killed or locked <laughs> away forever. But it's easily the second best film in the franchise just by doing what the first movie did again. 
what Samuels is really talking about here hey, is they learn fate. From the fate force awakens. took a different course. Just basically, almost redo New Hope, and there you go. Well, sometimes doing As things the first tweaks, movie did too. in reverse. I ain't gonna lie, I thought that was kind of cool. It said like they put her like a kind of Michael's. Dude, like Michael what if in the next one person. they switch it up and have Michael Myers hunt Lori? Whoa. Wait. Yeah, it was like they were just... Starring Clint Eastwoman. Okay, Michael, say goodbye to these. You're next. Sassy Magazine Sassiest Sassy Boy. Obligatory oh horror movie story. Like, how did he say Dr. Numis. Mark Scarron and Scara Koenig. Or, um, you must dismember this. How did this get slayed? How about two dope screams? This American knife? Okay, okay, one more. Uh, uh, wait, wait, don't kill me. Stab on my haters. And this line, for some reason. I got peanut butter on my penis. Halloween 2. Oh my god. Okay, so when they make a sequel to this movie, are they gonna call that movie Halloween 2? Because this movie is a sequel to the original, replacing the original Halloween 2. So the next Halloween 2 would actually be Halloween 3. And my nose yes. is bleeding. This episode was brought to you by Resident Evil 2, available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. I hear the call of the void, and I must answer. I'm a pretty unicorn. Admire me and stroke my mane while I stab you with my horn. Oh, only two of those? Well, that was pretty good. Uh, they hit a spot. I did not realize the um, uh, ah, that was my train of thought. Uh, what was it? Now I'm forgetting it. Oh yeah, Hall Halloween Resurrection was okay in my opinion. I I, I dug it. It was funny. Uh, it's fine to do that every every so often with like a horror movie that's normally taken seriously to make it a little fun to me. The only thing is when you completely switch it up like they did with uh, the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street franchise where it was kind of, it was mainly played serious in the first movie and then it turned into kind of a joke to me and he wasn't scary anymore in the other ones. And then he became scary again in the remake. Like, I thought the remake was actually one of the best Friday 13 movies we had in years. Like, to me, since the first one. I mean, I liked, uh, what was it? Um, uh, I actually, I actually didn't mind the, uh, Dream Warriors one. I don't even remember the numbers. And, uh, the other one, uh, I think it was not two. It might have been three. Maybe it might have been two. Where the the kid, uh, he was like, uh, it's the one everyone thinks the guy is gay. Uh, damn, I'm forgetting the guy's name. I was just thinking about that earlier, and I'm forgetting his name. But uh, it's like Freddy basically is like kind of possessing this guy and actually be and materializing out of him, kind of like the way they do it. And uh, I thought that was actually pretty good. And that movie got a lot of hate. I didn't realize how much hate <laughs> until years later, but when that movie came out, I had a lot of hate. But uh, like I said, I think the remake was probably the best Friday, Friday, um, Nightmare on Street since the first one. But uh, Halloween, what was that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the, the smashing of the head thing. That's what I was thinking. Like I didn't, I, I didn't realize that today said, but he did do that a lot. Like. <laughs> It's just slam people's heads into things. I know in other movies, I mean, he stabs, of course, but he, he would, you know, you know, he always take. Remember, uh, he took his thumb and shoved it in a uh, paramedic's forehead. <laughs> and uh, um, I think it was five. It might have been five or six. 
Or he picked up a guy and like and just like he could see him shoving his fingers like, into his face while he was like basically crushing his whole head. Like, oh my god. But Michael Myers, like this I used to be so afraid of this. This Halloween and Candyman. Candyman still is unsettling to me. Like I I have a hard time looking at it. Uh but um, Michael Myers, like I couldn't even look at the commercials when it came. I would run out of the room when I was a kid. <laughs> the commercials came <laughs> Halloween, and I knew it. And they stopped playing that. Now I love that that music. Like I learned how to play on the piano like years ago. <laughs> That's how much I like it. But anyway, you know, uh, I just they did a real good job. You see, actually dug that. But what y'all think of it? Yeah, did y'all think it was great in my awesome movie guy voice? Like, <laughs> but uh, let me know now in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.